In this video, I will take you on a quick walkthrough of Jump Point, which contains a little bit of something for everyone. The focus is to highlight and summarize interesting and noteworthy pieces from each article. Starting with the Drake Interplanetary Cutlass Blue. And here are the highlights. The Cutlass Blue is built for non-lethal prisoner capture. Unlike the Mantis, the Blue cannot take a ship out of Quantum, but creates a dampening field to prevent enemies from using Quantum. The Blue contains two size 2 power plants, so unlike the Mantis, which takes a hit to power its much more powerful dual purpose QED, the Blue can continue running and gunning while keeping targets locked down. When a captured player is placed in the prisoner pod, he can 1. stay there in hopes of being rescued, or 2. choose to sleep which sends him directly to prison, but from the bounty hunter's perspective, it will appear occupied until it is delivered to the prison. Next up is the visual dictionary, which focuses on the length, mass, speed, and armament of a select 12 Aegis military ships. Everything from your Gladius to your Idris. For those nature lovers out there, the Galactopedia introduces us to the Xi'an Centennial Bloom. This is a small tree standing half a meter containing light pink flowers which bloom 100 Xi'an years or 128 Earth years. The flower blooms for around 40 hours before it starts to wither. The offering of the Centennial Bloom, along with the opening of the Xi'an system, was a gesture of peace to a future of cultural exchange and harmony between United Empire of Earth and the Xi'an Empire. For those history buffs, the ARC article contains a letter from the Xi'an Emperor to read to the Xi'an people just in case he failed to return from his diplomatic mission into UEE space. Thankfully, he returned, but the letter basically encouraged the people to seek peace with the humans despite whatever happens to him. And lastly, Greycat Industries has released a new line of highly visible color options for the Pyro Multitool. The Mirage Gold, the Ghost Blue, and the bloodline red. That about wraps it up. We are going to end this video with an alien ship giveaway, followed by a consolation throwback video. Continue to share and drop comments because in the next video we hope to give away a Connie. As always, thanks for all the support and Godspeed. Gentlemen, this emergency session is called to order. Admiral Bishop, you have the floor. For 200 years, we have battled the Vandal. We have caught these attacks, raids, or skirmishes or incursions. But I am here to tell you that we are at war! 
Type, Orion, Caliban, Virgil, once. Human systems are but abandoned in the face of the enemy. The Vandal, we're at our gates. Weapons bared while we, we hide and cower. Retreating as they burn and decimate everything around us. We cannot let the tragedy of Vega happen again. We cannot give the Vandal any more ground. To defend this empire, we must attack! And we have to be committed to that attack, whatever the cost may be. We have to rebuild our fleet. We have to use the power of human innovation to reclaim these so-called red systems and strike back at the enemy! This will not be an easy fight. It will cost us. And resources. And credits. And lives. Well, some of you may be asking why I undertake such a thing, and I... I can tell you in one word. Victory! If there's one thing the Vandal has taught us, it's that without victory, there can be no survival! <laughs>